Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me and watching today's video. I'm Kayla. I'm going to show you how to sync your digital planner with your calendar. It's going to be awesome. So I know for me, I'm a huge planner and I love my digital planner, but one thing I don't love is there's no integration that I found where I can actually just have my calendar update in real time in my planner until now. So actually, I use um, Microsoft uh, OneNote for this planner. I often use other apps like GoodNotes, which doesn't have the same functionality. So I'm really excited to discover OneNote and start building a digital planner in OneNote. So this is my later standard workbook. It is brand new, so it's not really filled in or anything. Um, I am going to do another video all about my later standard workbook, but I really wanted to get this information out to you about syncing your calendar so I thought hey I'm just gonna go for it and share with you guys so um this is June it's, uh I'm going to demo week three for you so I'm filming this on Sunday the 13th tomorrow's the 14th which is week three of June for my work week so I'm going to be using leader standard work June week three so one thing that I've often done is next to my leader standard work I'll like transcribe in my calendar in this space over here or I'll pull up my calendar and I'll do like a split screen and I'll like have it in here and this is sort of a fake calendar I made up but then there's never enough room to like write and have the planner open at the same time and look at the calendar so it's very annoying so one thing I found is if you go to insert on the page you want to view your calendar on you can click not the calendar icon but the meeting one next to the smiley face and because I've logged in here before, it it automatically logs me in. But I can click on the 14th and see what meetings I have, which is super cool. This is a fake calendar I made. So if your work has a, and I, I should say this is a Microsoft application. So, if, so you can sync your calendar if you're using Outlook, Microsoft Outlook. So if your work has an Outlook calendar, you can sync it here. Um, I'm going to show you my work one in a second, but I also wanted to show you this is the one I created with my personal account. If you don't have a work Outlook calendar, but you want to use this function, you could just go into Outlook and create meetings. That's actually what I did here. I made fake events <laughs> just to try it out for myself. You could transfer some of your main events from work into your this personalized Outlook calendar. You don't have to even use you know, the Outlook inbox or anything, you can just use this so that it syncs to OneNote and be able to use it here. Um, but let me sign out and show you what it looks like. So once you have a Microsoft account, you would sign up, sign in here. If you use it for work or school, you click it here and sign in. And now because I've logged in before, it remembers my information and automatically signs me in. The first time you're going to have to like enter your username and password. So let me go on the, to the 14th. So now I can see all of my meetings, which is super, super cool. I love it. So the cool thing about OneNote is that, um, I don't want to do that, is that it actually gives you like infinite space to write. So throughout the day, you can have this meeting details window up and you can close it and you can have it back up. And um, so I really like that as well just this different functionality. So how I would fill out my later standard work is if you've been following me, you've seen my, how I use this tool. If not, um, welcome. And I'll, there are other videos on my YouTube that go more in depth on later standard work and how to fill it out. But I would just go in here and look at my calendar. Now it's so much easier to transcribe over my later standard work. So these three top tasks are actually daily things, or not daily things, things that are all day. So like leading the huddle, approving time cards, and delivering training manuals. I'm going to be traveling a lot tomorrow with the car. These are just reminders that I set that are lasting all day and start at 7. So I'm going to ignore those for a second. Um, morning huddle I have on here for awareness, but for my leader standard work, my first meeting is my 7.15. It's about... 25 minutes, uh, or uh, 15 minutes, it's on here for 10, it lasts a little longer than 10 sometimes, so I account for 15 minutes, and that's going to be my blood bank, morning, huddle. 
So then I go down and I just fill on my later standard work using these means. So wonderful. And then what's really cool is that if throughout the day I add a meeting to my Outlook calendar, right? So if I went in here, let's jump back to this personal one. Create a new event, let's say new. And let's make it for like 3, 3 p.m. Just choose it from the drop down. Um, let's make sure it's tomorrow because that's what we're looking at. Okay, so there's our new meeting. So that was my like fake personal one. So, oops. I closed the meeting window. <laughs> so I'm gonna open it back up. Okay, so now I just wanna sign out of my work one, sign into my personal one. What's cool is when you create a new meeting in Outlook, it's going to update here. So now it's here. Isn't that wonderful? So if someone adds something in your calendar, you're going to see it if you're in your planner. So I hope this tidbit's really helpful for you. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And check out my other videos on Leader Standard Work. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, at Kayla Fahey Arndt, or my at Leave Happy Method Instagram page. I would love if you go follow me there. At Leave Happy Method is where I share everything about Leader Standard Work in this planner that's coming out very, very soon. I can't wait for you guys to all have your hands on it. All right. Take care. Thanks for watching.